Hey YouTube, it's Renai Chanel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications to be notified whenever I post a video. So, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing my makeup. And I don't usually, usually do makeup videos by itself. Because I don't know if it will be interesting to y'all. But I'm just going to do it because I want to. And I also dyed my hair. It's supposed to be ginger. It's supposed to be ginger. But it's different. I don't know. So, I want to go for a more of a red look, but like not because I also want to do my brows the same color as my hair. So, I'm going to do my brows first before I put the eyeshadow on it because I want to get that shape in it. I also just cleaned my makeup brushes too, so use this. Um, brow gel. Do I want to use some brow gel or something? I'm going to use some edge control for my brows because I don't actually have like a brow gel. I'm just, I just put a little bit on there. But I'm just going to brush them up and then like that. But I'm actually going to use this because it's more pasty in a way like it's thicker and it will stay on in our case big box of 64 and hopefully i could find a shade to match my brow i mean my hair because i don't typically know what specific color it is but let's just see acadia you don't know what it's called because the words faded off of it, but y'all should know what it is if you're a makeup girly. Yeah. I'm going to use this cushion brush. Now I'm going to use a Q-tip and some micellar water to clean it up on the ends. Okay, so these are the brows. I'm also going to let it dry for a little bit just so it can like set and it like won't mess up once I put the eyeshadow on. In the meantime, while this dries, after I do my primer, I'm pretty sure it will be dry enough to put the eyeshadow on. Use a Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Primer with SPF in it there too because of the SPF part. Y'all, I'm so scared. Like, I don't know how this is gonna go. Ooh. Hold on now, hold on now. It's kind of a little too bright for my liking. I'm gonna go in with a darker eyeshadow after this. This is too much. Now I am going to conceal. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or this. This one is kind of lighter than this one. I feel like I should do the darker one since my brows are already lighter. Um, I'm gonna blend it with this brush eyeshadow from the palette that I use for my brows. How this looks definitely want a more deeper tone color in there I think that's cute yep 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 glow glow liquid filter foundation type thing just all over my head I do contour and I use the Believe Beauty foundation. Let's put dots like this. Right here first, I use a brush like this and then just swirl it. 
like this. I take this deep eyeshadow and then I go along my nose like this. Beauty Blender, usually my big one, but I recently got these little ones and I guess they have been helping out. I'm going to use this e.l.f. Camo Concealer for like an under eye brightener. Just a little squiggle. Concealer, concealer, and do the rest like the other side of my eye. My chin under there to save me from this. For blush, I'm using the crayon case blush palette. Gonna squirrel, squirrel. It's a little pigmented, and this also has kind of like highlighter in it, so I need to really be careful of how I apply it. Just a little more. I'm gonna put that on my nose. I line my lips like this. Let's try it out. Get strawberry cheesecake in the NYX lip gloss, and I'm gonna put that in the middle of my lips right here. I'm using the LA, Curl, LA Colors Perfect Curve Mascara. It's good for stubby eyelashes, so make sure you go get that. If you have eyelashes like a lot, like mine, you know your eyelid. I'm using the Maybelline Glass Break. I don't spray too much because this gives oily if you like spray it like really too much. Hey guys, so this is the final reveal. Check it out, check it out. The brows. I really like this, this is really cute. I never did the brows. Like, Here's my hair. I need to, I'm not straightening it because I'm actually gonna put it in a ponytail and do a little style for school. But I think it matches well. Like the pink lip kind of like went neutral and like it like didn't mess up the look or nothing. Cute. I think it's really cute. Make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram at Renaya07. It will be on the screen in the description. And make sure y'all go follow my TikTok to see all the videos and keeping up. And yeah. So this will be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications to be notified whenever I post a video. And bye.